Warning! This cigar made me cringe. I'm not even joking. So for those of y'all watching this review, please don't take offense to the faces that I make during this review. That is all. Q intro. What's going down, Cigar Head crew? All right, man, so check this out, man. Again, I wanna give a huge shout out to my brother, Kendall, um, out there in Tucson, Arizona. I appreciate you, brother, because of the fact that when he sent me this package, y'all, when the package that he sent me, um, he sent me a package of cigars that he liked and the ones that he didn't like. And when I first smoked this cigar, um, it was my first time smoking uh, a cigar from the company i had uh, I, I i know about them i just never got a chance to smoke their cigars because i really thought their cigars are pretty overpriced for what it was and when i smoked this cigar i couldn't believe that it tasted the way that it did and when i looked up the price i couldn't believe that this cigar was priced at what it was so i just i had i had one more left so i said i was going to share it with y'all Y'all get ready. But uh, the cigar that we're gonna be smoking today is the G Turbo. Huh. The G Turbo <laughs> Edition Limitada 2010. All right, Cigar Hair Crew, now uh, we're gonna take a good look at it. So for one, let me, let me point this out real quick. So do y'all see the color of this cellophane? It's almost the same exact color of the cigar. So, Kendall, you've been having this cigar for a while. This is, this is of course, this is the 2010. I don't know how long he's been having this cigar, but he's been having it for a while, man. Uh, this is not a new cigar. As you know, 2010, hey, that's when I graduated high school. Uh, but look at this. Very, very bronze colored cellophane. But take a, but like to look at this cigar, it's a very, very nice looking cigar it's not it's not a bad looking cigar at all very silky smooth uh wrapper very veiny uh the cap on it is a little rough around the edges but it's not bad uh the bands on it the bands on it are pretty simple they're not they're you know not nothing too fancy or flashy but they're not not bad looking at all um but y'all hang on i'm gonna tell you what's in it all right cigar crew now this is a six by fifty ring gauge cigar so this is a turbo I said a turbo, <laughs> a Toro, <laughs> it's a Toro size, this is a Toro cigar. Um, um, the wrapper on here is an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. The binder has not been disclosed, so you don't know what the binder is in this cigar, but it does have a Honduran and Nicaraguan filler. Let's get a quick smell on it. It, this cigar has a strong chemical smell, man. Very strong chemical smell. On the foot, it smells like a, like a raisin with chemicals on it. But um, MSRP on this bad boy is $18. $18. But all right, we're about to cut it up. We're about to get lit. Y'all hang on. Slightly firm draw on this cigar. Cold draw notes. A little sweet. But also, it it has like it, I don't know how to explain it. It has like a little uh, uh, like a distinct bitterness on like on the tail end of that sweetness on the cold draw. I don't know if anybody has ever gotten that before. I don't know. Yeah, it's tangy. It's 
It's like a tangy tobacco. And that's all I'm getting, so. All right, y'all, we about to get lit. Y'all hang on. Cigar Head Crew. Now, immediately from Light Up, when you first take in the smoke, you get you get a nice you, you you get a nice flavor. It's like a nice little cinnamon, and then it's like it turns into chemical chemical bitterness and floral on the finish. Retro Hell. You get some black pepper on the retro hell. But it leaves like a it leaves like a chemical floor. Like that's what's coating my mouth. That's what's coating my tongue. Is the finish of that. Like it's like a floral chemical type of. Mm -mm. Mm. But I'm gonna keep smoking it. And if I have anything else, I'll be back. Y'all hang on. All right, Cigar Crew, we are back with this uh, Great Cliff Cigars G Turbo Edition Limitada 2010. Uh, what I what I just got, I just the the retro hill gave me. It went from a black pepper to like a strong ammonia, and the cigar the cigar isn't. It's not hot. I'm not hot boxing this cigar. I can touch the cigar all the way to here. The cigar is not hot. It's just, it's like the cigar wants to give you a couple, like, you know, you get a couple of good flavor notes every once in a while with this cigar, but then it just goes, like on the finish, it just gets bitter, gets minerally. It's just not, it, it's, mm. yeah. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna end this here. Um, I'm done. I'm not gonna torture my palate like that anymore with the inconsistency and the unbalances of, of the cigar. If you like the flavor notes that I described in this cigar, give it a shot, give it a shot. But other than that, that cigar is $18. It's not worth it for me. If it was a good experience for you, let me know down in the comments. If you've had Great Cliff Cigars and, you know, you let me know your experience because that wasn't good at all. I'm Now I'm about to go wash my mouth out. That wasn't good. I didn't enjoy that. So, with that being said, give this video a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button so you know when the next video drops, and I will see y'all in the next review. Y'all remember, stay lit, stay humble, and stay smoky. All right, y'all, I'm about to go wash my mouth out. Y'all be cool, be smooth. Peace.